Good morning. I'm Jeremy Owens, Superintendent of Schools for Jacksonville North Pulaski School District. I'm going to ask my board president, Mr. Daniel Gray, to come, uh, and we're both going to welcome you at this time. Thank you, sir. Appreciate everybody coming out. Welcome. I was telling Dr. Owa this morning when I got here, I was looking through my time hop, and in 2014, Mr. Ron McDaniel and myself were before the State Board of Education. Big smiles on our face, front page of the Democrat. And 10 years ago, we were approved for the school district. So it's been an exciting time. Uh, just uh, less than 10 years, we've replaced all of our schools here in Jacksonville. Local control, this is what it's all about. And we are excited what we've done for our children so far. And we're not where we want to be yet, but yeah. under the right leadership here, we are headed in the right direction. So thank you all for coming out, and I'm going to be brief. Thank you, Mr. Gray. Governor Sanders, Secretary Oliva, uh, legislators, my board of directors, thank you all for being here. Today is definitely a great day uh, to be a Titan. Uh, as we look at how we uh, combine our content and pedagogy with educational technology to impact tutoring, impact education, today is a game changer for our young people. So we're excited to introduce a mirror to our students because we know it will have a less uh, lasting impact on our young people. And that's why we're here, to make sure that our young people are successful, more successful before they leave fifth grade. And so Governor Sanders, thank you for the opportunity for our kids to have high impact tutoring and a better educational system. Thank you. Thank you. I feel like since we're talking about literacy, we should ask everybody to come grab a letter on the uh, carpet down here and sit down. Uh, feel free to move up if you guys need to get a little bit closer. But we are excited to be here this morning and uh, very proud to join in the celebration here at Jacksonville Elementary's participation in the Accelerate program. And I want to thank Superintendent Owa for hosting us. And of course, thank you to Kevin Huffman and the entire Accelerate team for being here as well. I've had the privilege of not just being the first woman to serve as Arkansas's governor, but also the first mom. In fact, this is the first time that we've had elementary aged kids living in the governor's mansion since Chelsea Clinton was there. In case you don't know, that's been a long time. That can come with its own set of challenges. Of course, I've had a lot of visitors at the governor's mansion tell me they notice a few more Nerf guns and footballs laying around than under previous administrations. But I also think it gives me a new and a different perspective. Nowhere is that truer than in education. I know that with three kids, each one of them learn a little bit differently. Unfortunately, for many kids in our state, the kind of personal attention that each child needs can be missing. And each year that a student falls behind his or her grade level, the problems build and accumulate. It's a small thing to catch a first or second grader up with the rest of the class, but it is a huge ordeal to try to get a middle or high schooler up to speed after years of missed opportunities. Thanks to Accelerate's generosity, we can now make that type of early intervention available in schools that have never had it on a large scale schools like Jacksonville Elementary. Research shows that early direct intervention works, and in our own experience, I think we've all seen students whose lives have been changed thanks to the attentiveness of teachers and tutors. Just as Accelerate is making this type of program available in schools around Arkansas, our administration is stepping up to do the same. As part of last year's LEARNS Act, we built out a high-impact literacy coaching program of our own. And we now have more than 120 coaches supporting at-risk students across the state, specifically focused on schools with the highest demonstrated need. This type of one-on-one -on -one attention will be critical to ensuring every student in our state can read by the third grade, one of my administration's key and top priorities. Thank you so much to the team for helping make this possible. Thank you to Accelerate for your vision and for your generosity. And thank you to the parents, the teachers, the staff, and the administration for the work that you're doing in the investment that you're making in our students across the state. And thank you to our legislators that are here for your partnership in helping us make sure that every student in the state of Arkansas has the opportunity that they deserve. We're excited to be here and thanks for letting us be part of this celebration.
Good morning and welcome. Thank you, Dr. Owa and uh, the team here. It, I guess it is a great day to be a Titan. What a wonderful mascot that is, by the way. Um, we're excited about the partnership that we have with special friends, and I consider them friends in education right here in Jacksonville, because anytime uh, we have some great initiatives or priorities and we know we can make a difference in students' lives, Dr. Owa is one of the first people that always reaches out and says, we, we want to be leading the pack. We don't want to be behind the pack, and we want to do whatever we can to make sure our students have what they need in order to be successful. So today we're excited to talk about the partnership with Accelerate and in the work that we've been doing with high dosage, high impact tutoring. When, when we know that students are struggling with some of those foundational skills that, that are building the building blocks to becoming an at grade level literate reader, especially by that benchmark in third grade, we know that those gaps can be filled. And the longer that a student goes with gaps, the harder it is to fill. So by being able to partner with school districts and bringing additional resources to work with that classroom teacher, students will no longer be left behind because they're gonna get that direct explicit instruction and intervention as they need it to make sure those foundations of literacy are where they need to be in order to grow and become a successful reader. So we're excited about the work that's happening here as well as across the state. Uh, this wouldn't happen if it wasn't for great leaders uh, at the district level, great principals, but number one, great teachers. We know that the number one impact on improving learning is that teacher standing in front of the classroom. And, and if we can support and supplement the great work they're doing with additional resources, it's a win for everybody. So thank you to the legislature for continuing to support these types of initiatives. I know we have some of our state board members here as well that are real passionate about making sure we're doing our part at the state to support districts and improve learning. So thank you for the wonderful opportunity to be here today. Good morning. Um, I'm Kevin Huffman. I am the CEO of Accelerate, and I am so honored to be here with the governor and with the secretary, and thank you for hosting us here at Jacksonville Elementary School. Accelerate is focused on expanding high dosage tutoring across the country. And we're doing this because tutoring has the strongest research and evidence base of any academic intervention. And we know from lots of research over years that when tutoring is delivered the right way, when it's delivered in small groups, when it's delivered multiple times a week, when it's delivered with a strong curriculum, and when there is oversight and reporting of the data, that tutoring can add several months of learning in the course of a single academic year. So Accelerate, as part of our work, did a state grants competition last year, and we were looking for states across the country that are leading in high dosage tutoring and in implementing it as part of a broader initiative. So we were very excited to select Arkansas as one of the five states where we would be partnering and working and making grants. And we did this because Arkansas was already doing such groundbreaking work legislatively and through the work that the secretary was leading in the department. The focus on early literacy, the focus on early intervention, and the opportunity to use high dosage tutoring as a boost to that work is really, really important. So we're very excited and honored to be here and to be part of this work. We think that in particular, what Arkansas is doing to both pair tutoring that is happening in schools with the opportunity for parents to access funding for tutoring at home and Arkansas's willingness to track data and to report out how each district is doing across the state can be a model for the rest of the country. Um, so we're honored to be here. Thank you so much for hosting us, and I'm very excited to see the kids in the classroom. Thank you. And with that, I'm gonna ask Principal Howard just to come. <laughs> Since this is, he's the leader of this school, and I ask if you have some words. Yes, good morning, everyone. 
So anyone who knows me knows I woke up at 3 a.m. trying to figure out what I was going to say because <laughs> I wanted it to be perfect. But I want to keep it simple. Welcome to our home. This is our Monday through Friday home. And here we're willing to do whatever it takes to ensure that our scholars are successful. I'm very excited about the AMIRA program and whatever it takes for my scholars to grow and to be um, wonderful citizens once they graduate from high school, whether they choose to go to college or choose another type of um, career path after high school, I want them to be successful. So I want them to be citizens that we can pass and say, hey, I remember you are such a great, you're a big deal. And we have 800 big deals here at JES. And so feel free to speak to them, hug them, and say hi to them um, as you see them throughout the day. Thank you so much for being here. Have a great day. Thank you, Principal Howard. And that concludes this portion. Um, Governor, we're going to give you a tour at this time. So thank you. Thank you.